All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for our next matchup of the evening. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here comes our first man for this matchup. Here comes the all-star. Here comes Johnny Star. He looks hyped up. He looks ready to go head-to-head -to -head with Heath Gold. He looks ready to make himself appear in the spotlight. But it looks like Heath Gold coming out here. Not going to want Johnny to take the spotlight from him. And he goes after Johnny. You can see Heath very clearly not looking to play nice here. Big move right there from Heath Gold. You can see Heath dragging Johnny a little bit right here over to those steel steps. He's got him on his shoulders and he's about to drop Johnny on the steel steps. Now he's gonna throw Johnny into the ring Getting into the ring himself in this matchup can truly begin. You can see Heath just throwing those blows here. And now throwing the kicks as well. Gotta believe that Johnny is in some real danger right here. Heath is aggressive and he's looking to deal some damage. Here comes he's delivering a back suplex and now once again mounting Johnny here delivering some hard strikes right here. You can see Johnny on the uh, on the defensive here so far just as he intended but you can see Johnny now trying to fight back with something here. Uranagi slams trying to fight back. Nice knee drop right there by Johnny. Pinfall right here, we got a one count. Kick out right there by Heath. Now you can see Johnny still trying to get something going for himself. Got that shoulder claw locked in, but Heath fighting out of it with two big shots. And then the big old European uppercut. You can see he's just staying on top of Johnny here. Johnny's going to get something going for himself. He's just, just really putting pedal to the metal right here. That triplet, available shots, Irish whip. Oh, look at that, DDT. You can see Johnny with a couple stomps right to the chest of Heath. And then, guillotine leg drop. Nice tope and Mianko right there by Johnny. You can see he's now getting his bearings here in this matchup. Now sending Heath into the corner. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. You can see it looks like Johnny looking for a suplex of some type. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. You can see very clearly Heath Gold able to reverse what Johnny Starr had planned there. Going for a couple forearm shots, but Johnny's still trying to fight back here. Johnny. Not looking to let Heath take control as easily. But it looks like this just may be Heath Gold's matchup. Oh, look at that. Nice reversal right there. Now look at this. Here comes Johnny throwing some hard shots. Johnny going up. Second rope looking to take some big dives. But looks like he just couldn't connect with it. You gotta believe that pre-match assault by Heath Gold really shaped how this matchup was gonna go for Johnny. His Heath is just in control here. He's just doing everything that he can. And you can see clearly Johnny trying to fight back. Johnny's not gonna lie down and let Heath do what he wants. But you gotta know that he's, he, he's basically, at this point in the matchup, he's gotta be at like a solid 80%. I will give him that. But Johnny's, Johnny's gotta be at about 50. 
This has really just been a very tasking matchup for the All-Star. Trying to get up to his feet. You can see Heath waiting for him. Double underhook. DDT. And once again, you can see Heath mounting Johnny. Trying to deliver some of these hard blows. We've seen him do many times before. Irish whip with the rebound. Into the backbreaker. Now you can see Johnny trying to roll to the outside of the ring. Not sure that's a good idea though. You can see Heath putting him up on his shoulders. And he's just going to line dart him into that steel ring post. Heath still in control here. Now getting Johnny up on his shoulders. One more time. Power bomb position. Dropping him on the barricade this time. Now you can see Heath on the apron, taunting Johnny, trying to get him up to his feet. Look, he was going for a clothesline maybe, but not able to connect with it. Looks like he wasted a little bit of time there. Now Johnny able to throw Heath back into the ring. Irish whip from Johnny, sending Heath into that corner. Tippy top rope, but Heath still in control here still. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Johnny, nice reversal, now firing back against Heath for a moment, but you can see Heath still trying to get his control back here. But you can see Johnny trying to take control right here. Some strikes being thrown right to Heath Gold. Nice knees right to the, the chest right there, and then the knee drop. You can see Johnny trying to take control right here. Looks like Johnny has found something left in the gas tank. Look at this going for more kicks, but you can see he's trying to fight back still. He's trying to get something going for himself right there, but Johnny with a nice reversal. Double leg takedown, and you can see the fist of Johnny flying here. Doing everything he can to deal some more damage to Heath Gold. Big kick right to the gut. Going for an elbow right there. Reversal right there by Johnny. Big elbow. Now look at this. Johnny sending Heath to the outside, to the floor. And now it looks like Johnny's got a plan in mind. He's going to go with the drop kick. Great maneuver right there from Johnny. Little suicide drop kick right there now. Got Heath up in the power bomb position. And he's gonna power bomb him on the announced table on the outside of the ring. Get something going for himself. Doing more damage to Heath. Now setting up Heath once again on his shoulder. And we saw that in the beginning of the matchup. But in the opposite, looks like Johnny getting a little bit of revenge for that snake eyes on the steel steps. Sending Heath back into the ring. Johnny on the apron. Looking to fly into the ring. With the clothesline. Springboard style. And you can see Heath. He's staggered here. He's trying to find his ground. But Johnny's not going to let this happen. Big drop kick right there. From Johnny Starr. He's not stopping yet. To hunting Heath. He wants him on his feet. So he can fly with the crossbody. Getting Heath up back on his feet. Now he's throwing Johnny into the ring. Taking a moment before getting into the ring himself. But Johnny's already on his feet. And ready to hit him with the big DDT. You can see Johnny really clearly in control here. Heath got the Irish foot looking for something here. Got a spine buster on the All-Star. But Johnny is just not done here. Not yet, ladies and gentlemen. He's looking for some big moves. He's still looking to get back into this matchup. Throwing a couple strikes to the, the gut of Heath. And then the clothesline. line. 
Irish Whip, but he able to reverse, going for the shoulder tackle. But you can see Johnny able to reverse the big DDT. Another Irish Whip. Nice little headlock punch right there by Johnny. Going for something there, but he's able to reverse, delivering the backbreaker. Trying to go for some big moves here of his own. These two men now cocking for position right here. You can see Heath. He wants Johnny on his feet. So he can hit him with that big top rope shot. You can see Heath still trying here. Got to get something going for himself. He's setting up Johnny Tippity top rope. Superplex! We got a pinfall here. That's one, two. Superplex wasn't enough right there. Johnny able to kick out. But he's back in control here. Got something going for himself. You can see Heath getting Johnny on his, on his feet. Johnny able to, to block that strike right there now. A couple blows and Heath putting him in the corner. And then some rapid fire kicks from the All-Star. Nice hip attack right there by the All-Star. Irish whip reversed by Heath sending Johnny into that corner. But you can see Johnny hitting Heath with the double knees. Going up. Here comes Johnny tippity top rope. Oh look! Heath, he got the knees up, hitting the ropes and... You can see a big kick right to the side of the head of Johnny. Johnny went for that body splash, but Heath got the knees up. And now he's gonna deliver a German suplex. Get him up for another German suplex. He comes, a third German. Got that hand locked though, look! Ripcord, Lariat, sliding in for the pinfall. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our winner. It is the Golden Boy, Heath Gold. We do have a winner here, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, the Golden Boy, Heath Gold. It looks like that pre-match assault earlier by Heath just... This was too much for the All-Star to see what it come back from. And it gave Heath Gold the victory. One, two, three. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our main event of the evening. It's time for our number one contenders match. The number one contender for the Impact Pro Wrestling Television Championship will be decided next. Jack Smith, the IPW television champion, will face one of these two men at Best in the World one month from now. What we're going to decide and what we're going to see is who will be the man to face Jack Smith. Will it be Evan Perkins, the professional, or will it be Christopher Bishop? This is our main event of the evening. It is a number one contenders match, and it's coming up next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our main event of the evening. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here comes our first wrestler in this matchup. Here comes our first man in our main event. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the professional Evan Perkins. And Evan Perkins coming down to the ring. He's looking to become number one contender. He's looking towards Jack Smith at best in the world. He's looking towards that IPW television championship. Television championship is all that both of these men are looking for. But you know that Evan Perkins is focused. He called himself the professional. Let's see if the professional can pull out a professional victory here tonight. Now, Evan Perkins, compared to Christopher Bishop, is definitely the faster man. 
and definitely the more agile man. Evan Perkins likes to fly high a lot in his matches and we'll see if that high flying ability is what will give him the victory here in this one. Now of course I did just talk about how Evan Perkins is the more agile man, the faster man, but his opposite here is Christopher Bishop who is definitely the stronger man. And if I do say so in my own opinion, is the more technically gifted man. This man does know how to wrap you up in some nice wrestling maneuvers, holds, and things of that nature. And definitely do some damage to you. The one thing that I think that will be excluded from this matchup are submissions. As I have never seen Christopher Bishop apply a submission without the intention of doing damage specifically. And I have, don't think I've seen Evan Perkins do a whole lot of submission work himself. But I think that neither of these men really enjoy submission work very much. Which means that this matchup is just going to be a hard fought beat down to see which man can be put down for a three count. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Christopher Bishop versus Evan Perkins, number one contendership. This matchup has just begun. Call it an old boy tie up right here. Christopher Bishop taking control, got the arm of Evan Perkins, doing some damage, wrenching it in right there. Great transition here from the professional. Got it locked in. Big knee right to the gut. And another big knee. Nice technical wrestling here by Evan. Evan getting the best of that chain wrestling sequence. Now, headlock on. Christopher, big knee right to the gut. Going for something right there, but Evan able to blow off Christopher. Nice maneuver right there. Nice overhead shot to Christopher. Doing a couple of blows, Christopher with a blow back of his own. And he hits Evan with a nice suplex. Going for a kick, Evan able to dodge it. Russian leg sweep. Christopher getting up to his feet. Evan with an Irish whip. Big knee right to the gut, sending him into the ring. And then he hits him with the drop kick. You can see Evan, looks like he's planning something here, got something in mind. Nice! Nice drop kick right there from Evan Perkins. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Evan Perkins, quite the agile man. Christopher went for that Irish whip, but wasn't able to connect with whatever we wanted to here. Now, Evan in control. Oh, look at that. Nice hip attack right there from Christopher Bishop. Now Bishop with the Irish whip sending Evan Perkins into that top turnbuckle. Now on the tippity top rope. Look at this Evan on the top rope. Look. Fly! Nice double knee meteora right there. Now. Evan gonna fly to the outside of the ring. Great little suicide dive by Evan Perkins. Christopher tried to roll to the outside of the ring, but Evan just rolling out there with him from the top rope. Now, these two men fighting here on the outside of the ring. Evan gonna put Christopher against that barricade and slamming him into it back first. Some clubbing blows right there from Evan Perkins. But these men have got to get back into the ring. Now Christopher being thrown back into the center of the ring. But Evan looking to do some taunting. He's looking to fly with the clothesline. But unable to get it off here. Bishop able to get something else going. Flatliner. Here comes Bishop with the nice bullplex. Using his strengths right there against the professional one.
Rolling senton right there by Christopher. Now taking it to Evan, getting him on his feet now. Here comes Bishop. Fireman's carry. Flapjack, nice move right there from Bishop. You can see Bishop really taking the control right here, doing everything he can to maintain that control. Going for belly to belly here, you can see Evan trying to fight back here. But Bishop gonna keep that control. Uranagi backbreaker, one knee right to the back. Big kick right to the gut of Evan Perkins. Now getting Evan up on his feet. And Bishop, half hatch DDT. Now you can see Bishop looking to fly, second rope style. Got Evan in the ring on his feet, and he flies with the great leg lariat. This is going to be a really easy endeavor right here for Christopher Bishop, as long as he can keep the control with these big movies carrying out. But you can see Evan trying to do something here. Perkins got this locked in right here. Those hands are clenched. The leg is held right there. Evan's got to hold this though. You can see Bishop able to escape. Wasn't in that hole for too long. It looks like Evan might not want to play the submission game right here with Christopher Bishop. Christopher with a nice Oklahoma stampede. Dealing some heavy damage right here. Here comes Evan getting German suplexed by Christopher Bishop. Now you can see Evan just on his butt right there in the corner, but Bishop slamming him down with the alley oop bomb. He has done a lot of damage right here to Evan. Evan's got to find some kind of way here to come back from this, to deliver some big moves. We've seen Evan do something in this matchup, but it's just nothing compared to what Christopher has done. Christopher has been on top of Evan. The professional's got to find a way to professionally get out of this mess he's in. Nice double axe handle right there by Christopher. You can see Evan trying some small things to get the momentum in his corner here, get the momentum on his side. But he's got to find a big move. He's got to get something to put down Christopher to give him the advantage. And you can see right here, Christopher just looking down at Evan here. Looks like he just doesn't, doesn't really believe in it. Evan's fighting, though. He's still fighting with everything he can. But he's got to get one big move off. You can see Evan, he's gaining momentum more and more. Nice tilt to world. Hurricane Rana right there. Now this may be it, this may be Evan's possibility, Evan's chance to get some momentum. Clubbing blows right to the face of Christopher Bishop, but Bishop fighting back. Here comes another nice Oklahoma slam right there. And here comes another German suplex. Seen that multiple times before and it's really doing damage. To Evan Perkins. Evan's trying to get something going for himself here. Christopher setting up Evan. Nice flapjack. Now you can see Christopher going second rope again. This time flying off with that extremely nice flip sent on. And here comes Christopher. Uranagi backbreaker once again dealing more damage to Evan Perkins. Uh, you can see that right there. That's not even anything to really sneeze at. You can see how confident Christopher is. Doing some showboating here to the fans and even taunting Evan. Evan now getting back on his feet. But the Irish whip to the ropes. Big move right there from Evan Perkins. Just whipping him around. It looks like that's the big move that Evan needed. That's the big move that Evan needed to get some fire here. To get something going for himself. Bishop is in danger. 
You can see right there that nice moon salt and oh look at this bishop in those robes. Here comes Evan Perkins. A little bit of tribute right there. Now waiting for Bishop. And you can see Evan gonna fly with the drop kick. That may be exactly what Evan needed here. Evan needed some big moves to get this going for himself. Nice suplex transitioning into the back suplex. You can see very clearly right here now, Evan trying to take control here of this one. Setting up Bishop. Well, look at this Bishop trying to fight back here though. But Evan not gonna let that happen. One more springboard drop kick. Evan still in control here, delivering a nice moonsault. This is exactly what Evan needed. Get himself some good hot offense. Look at this, that nice wrist lock right here, crafting those fingers. What a great arm drag by the professional right here. That's what he needs to do. Get some hard offense in here. Now look at that, a big kick. Big knee, I should say, right to the gut, and then a couple kicks, but look at this. It looks like Evan's got something planned. Oh, look at that right there. Evan Perkins flying high right here, delivering more of that hard offense that he needs to be delivering here to really do the work here on Christopher. Got Christopher on his shoulders just to slam him back first into the barricade. Great move right there by Evan Perkins now throwing Christopher back into the ring on his apron hit him with a springboard elbow drop Christopher's in some trouble here he's getting a lot of damage placed on him by Evan Perkins and this high damaging offense big knee right to the face big big throwback just slamming Christopher's face right into the canvas now sending Christopher into those ropes I'm sorry, into the corner, I should say. Got Christopher on his shoulders and he hits him with the Death Valley driver. Opposite corner this time. And Evan looking for another big move. Looking for a moonsault. Going for a blow there, but Christopher is still trying to fight back here. Back body drop. But you can see Christopher a little bit too good right here. He's fighting back and Bishop just doesn't know what to do. Now look at this. Great reversal by Christopher Bishop, the package pile driver. And you can see in the eyes of Evan Perkins, he's stunned, he's dazed. And Bishop is looking here, he's looking at a prime, easy target. This could be an easy victory for Christopher Bishop. Looks like Evan just doesn't know where he's at. That reversal right there, it kind of, I don't even know what it was. I'm trying to comprehend it as I'm talking. Looks like Evan Perkins went for a, a cannonball sent on. Bishop quickly turned it into a, a pile driver, more like a package pile driver. But you can see now Bishop in control, delivering some moves back to back, doing more damage as quickly as possible. Here comes another back body drop from Christopher Richard. We've seen that before here. But Evan trying to fight back with anything he can get here. Oh, look at this. Evan looking quickly for the Boston Crab. He went in for that Boston Crab, but he had to stop it immediately. Christopher was way too close to those ropes. Now you see Evan trying to find some, some way to restrain Christopher Bishop here, as he does do with that Paradise Lock and a big kick. Now you can see Christopher out of here and Evan looking for something here. Just slamming Christopher Bishop's head up against the apron. Now sending Bishop into that corner. But Bishop fighting out of it. And look at this. 
This is just going to be the simple package pile driver. Great move right there by Bishop. Now you can see him looking for more moves, looking for more damage. Just moves like that. And you can see very clearly Perkins try to roll outside of the ring, catch a breather here. But Bishop following now got him up, power bomb position, and he's gonna drop him on the apron. Not once, but twice. First the power bomb on the apron, and the second time just slamming him into the apron. Evan sending Bishop back into the ring right here, taking a moment before getting back to the ring himself. But maybe took too long. Bishop able to quickly deliver a hard D D T. And then the butterfly suplex. You can see Bishop here looking for these big moves. Looking for high damaging moves. Now you can see Bishop getting Perkins on his feet. Looks like Bishop's got a plan in mind. Oh look at this right here. Christopher sending Evan. Outside to the ring, I mean outside to the floor, and now look at this, Christopher! Get a fly! Outside to the floor, Christopher delivering a suicide dive. We've seen Evan fly during this one, and now Christopher flying too. Looks like Evan isn't the only one who can fly high. And Evan's not the only one who can get DDT'd. Evan getting another DDT here in this one. And now you can see Christopher. He's got a plan. That rope hung DDT is only the beginning to what's looking like the ending here. Here comes the Bishop Buster. Oh, look! Bishop got reversed. Evan Perkins able to reverse turn it into a flatliner. And hitting his own finishing move. Professional splash. Center of the ring. One, two, three. And ladies and gentlemen, looks like we have a winner. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Evan Perkins has got a date for Best in the World. Jack Smith and Evan Perkins is set Best in the World one month from now. Impact Pro Wrestling Television Championship will be on the line. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all could enjoy Adrenaline, and we will see you Thursday for another episode of IPW.